welcome to my thumbnail tutorial this episode you'll need paint.net and photoscape 3.7 both free and both good for low budget because they're free <laughs> I use these quite a lot so here goes this is uh, photoscape which would have seen in my logo created my logo this is a um, blank canvas uh, 1 to 8 times 720 is the main thumbnail size here I'm just creating some things to add to the, just to the background um, as you'll see later I'll add a few things to this then I'll load it up into paint.net and then delete a few little things in the background to make them transparent here this is it um, you can add borders there's quite a lot of borders to choose from, but I like the wavyish kind of horrorish kind of ones. They're the ones that like these ones, so I used to use this, these ones a lot. So now you've got that, it all it seems to merge in. This is just quickly showing you how I, I upload clip art and all the photos onto the, the background, and you can change as you'll see in a second hopefully if it's all working okay <laughs> okay I've got so many folders on this laptop it's unbelievable when you YouTube for three years you, you gain lots of um, you get lots of folders and you're forever trying to sort them out which is quite impossible sometimes but anyway so but if I pick any logo I'm different diving doing here so okay I want the Twitter one so, I don't want that Twitter one, do I? I want the one that's it. I want the feathered one, the birdie one. There you go. Like that, and then you can shrink or enlarge whatever. So, I'm just plonk them on the screen there. Okay. I'll do a few more, and then I shall show you the one I did. The one I do for my YouTube channel. Uh, so, yeah, just pick any. I just wanted to put a few a few icons showing what social media social network can I use it's okay so let's do one more little bit then I'll load up the or the more interesting one the finished article I'm trying to say <laughs> that's what I that text there is what I last texted on my last tutorial <laughs> so yeah so okay it's just showing you how to delete and stuff like that um, yes, the writing is in yellow, but you can change the, you can change it, but I want it to appear on there, the, as you can see the outline is quite thick, so <clears throat> you can change, yeah, there's lots you can change, lots of things you can do with, but uh, as you shall see in a few seconds, okay, there's one I made earlier. I can find it. Where is it? Nope, not that. Oh, which one is it again? Nope, not that one. <laughs> I've got that many folders, I shouldn't know how to keep them right now. There you go, that's the one I wanted. So there you go, so that's the finished one. So now that's all done, and I shall load that into paint.net, uh, which I've got open already. So of course save that first course. Save it, blah blah blah, you know, overwrite the one. This is paint.net which is free, which is brilliant for what it is. It's like a basic version of GIMP. So yeah, so I'll load the picture up that I've just created. As you can see, go for all the folders, trying to find the right folder, blah blah blah. As you do. Okay, that one and this one is already done so you can see by the like checkboard kind of effect so if I load the normal one up okay here we go because one that's not been deleted so you highlight the magic wand highlight on the screen the white bit press delete and pop your uncle so you go so you got that so you save that as a PNG not a JPEG PNG so, and then that will make it so it will be transparent so now you go back to that's it 
photo scape loads in your design any random picture which I'll try and find a random one if I can oh this is where you create your multi-screen photos so, so you can, I've got one pre-saved where is it where is it I've saved it somewhere there you go so that saves a uh, preset the pre-size so and then you drag your photo as you want I'm going to use but on a split smoothie one so and then you can yeah see each, as you can see on the other side of the screen you've got different pages you can use different squares different pit amount of pictures so yeah so you can edit the picture within the picture and editing them this goes back to the normal screen and then this one you can load up your this screen that I've just uh, edited on paint.net I shall see in a second I can find it again yes here you are so you want the transparent one and then that goes over the top so it's like it just pastes over the top of the picture so there you go that's how I do my thumbnails so yeah I've been using the photoscape I think ever since I started YouTube I think um, it's easy it's straightforward it does the job it's a bit more simpler than simpler than um, Photoshop but Photoshop of course can do more but this is quite simple to do the thumbnail it's, it's click 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 drag 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 and there you go save as long as it, you do want to 80 times 720 and you shall get the picture and the size you want here's an example this one you don't realize that the size is 520 it's quite high it's 1920 it's very high so when you do that you get a small square and then you realize oh okay so you need to shrink the picture so you go into uh, home and then to resize and then we'll click that one and then to 1280 and then the next one's 720 and then OK, and it shrinks it to the right size, as you see. And then now you go back, put your, put your template over it, and there you go. That's that's it really. You can use any picture in there. You can edit the picture before you put the frame on, and that's it. So all I've got to say now is, if you want to subscribe, like, comment, please do. And this is the end of this vlog, so I shall say. That's all folks, until next time.